The next few weeks were long. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT. Tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or... We try to catch him off guard and make our escape. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool. Okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not. Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. Okay, fine, so we don't knock his brains out. I guess that means send friend request. Uh. No? I wasn't saying that we shouldn't break his head open. Just that we might be doing a whole lot more than knocking him out. Let's just try the non-violent way first. So... All right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's got to have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey! T-Money! Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way, okay? Oh, come on, Team Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? I can think of seven. Really? Seven? Failure to comply. 
trespassing, dangerous driving, breaking and entering, resisting arrest, endangering local wildlife. And you keep calling me names. Yeah, but aside from all that... It's... Okay. Look, there's no reason why we can't change things. Why does it all have to be so ugly all the time? Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Not gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Shut up. Have a seat. Ah! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Help! Hey, he's got his whole prisoner at the police station! Help us! Who was that? Over. Nothing. On my way. Over. That was pretty stupid. Hey, you can't just leave me here! Yes, I can. Don't worry, Max. I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, right. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Well, I'm kind of stuck next to this big-ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Max? Max? Hey, what's going on?
So much for depth perception. Let's see what that bastard cop's hiding. Locked. Figures. But I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. This can't be doing too well. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. July 7th? I need to lie down.
Hello? So much a hint as a slap in the face. Day and month, but no year. Come on, Laura, think. Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. What are you hiding, Travis? Mama's boy. 
56. That means he was born in 1965. weren't hikers at all, but ghost hunters who went in search of answers and fell victim to the mercy of the hag of Hackett's quarry, never to be seen again. Like us. Except for the fell victim to the mercy of the blah 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 part. We're, we're more like, um, ghost investigators? Spectre sleuths? Sure. So, what happened next? Well, according to reports from the local paper, the North Kill Gazette, some hay bales caught fire during the opening night, and that spread pretty quickly. Before they knew it, the whole place was up in smoke, including the show's leading lady and her alleged baby. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Well, I see you made yourself at home. 
That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes? Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. What's this? An education. Watch. Nice job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor, and no, I'm not, and I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know, doesn't mean you know. You know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. 